What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. For those of you that follow the channel, you probably saw we just did a video recently on the new Aptera Solar EV. And there's been a lot of questions come up recently in regards to the company and who they might be actually partnering with or borrowing some tech from. Stay tuned. So for those of you that were paying attention in the new Aptera is back video that they posted, they are technically using what looks like a Tesla charging plug. So is there some deal that we don't know about yet or that hasn't been announced? Tesla has announced in the past that they are willing to cooperate and work and partner with these other manufacturers, but supposedly the cost of entry for this has been phenomenally expensive. So nobody's actually taken advantage of it. Now, with Aptera, in that video, you can see it clearly looks like they are using a supercharging cable or their traditional chargers in general. Not only that, that's the most obvious, but there's also been rumors floating around now that they are going to be using some of Tesla's battery tech as well, and that is what's helping them out with this range in addition to solar. Now, there's not a lot of documented proof on that. There's actually an AMA, basically, tomorrow at time of publication, so that'll be Wednesday that will actually dive a little deeper into the tech specs behind the vehicle and we're hoping to get a couple more answers out of it. Now, this vehicle is coming in those four battery configurations. The thousand mile one that they keep preaching all about is obviously the most intriguing because no current EV is even close to that. Tesla has the highest range currently and that's less than half at right over 400 miles. So the additional solar cells and what they're doing for to be able to pull only a hundred um, out of these batteries instead of your average of 350 or 250, uh, that's significant. That's where they're getting this added range from. So it'll be very interesting to see with this new battery tech what can happen and what Aptera is actually doing. I'm going to throw up a link in the description as well. Make sure you use it if you're looking at reserving one. It'll get $30 off your pre-order and it'll put you down for only a $7, $70 refundable deposit. You can't beat that deal right now. Throw down that 70 bucks, get your place in line, and get one of these awesome new vehicles next year ready. Now, let us know in the comments below, does any of this interest you still? Are you curious about what actually is powering these Apteras? Uh, I know we are definitely interested in seeing what it's gonna be like. We got our order in. But yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot more information in the near future in regards to what's powering this baby and what tech is behind it. But I wanna make this short and sweet. Stay tuned to the channel. You'll see a whole bunch more coverage in regards to this vehicle, but uh, yeah, let me know. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.